Well, do you know what it's like to be on top of the world in the nowhere? Yes. <laughs> it's, a lot of us do. It's 1993, I'm 37 years old, and it looks like I'm finished. I had 12 good years with the Jazz, now find myself sitting on the end of the bench again. I can't run, I can barely jump, I can't compete. It's all come to a grinding halt. I'm seeing my career end. I had a severe injury earlier in the year and it's getting worse. Night after night, running up and down the court weighing 300 pounds have taken its toll. After 12 seasons, my body couldn't take the pounding anymore. I was in constant pain. I had back injuries, knee surgeries, ankle sprains, a punctured eardrum, sciatica, lost feeling in my hip and leg. I tried chiropractors, acupuncturists, physical therapists, neurosurgeons, cortisone injections. I spent my days in waiting rooms because that's what it's really like when you play in the NBA for 10 plus years. It's not glamorous. I wanted more than anything to be back out there with my team. I tried everything I could, but it wasn't to be. I didn't know what the future would hold, and in 1994, I called a press conference, said goodbye, and left the Jazz. From that point on, I spent all my time just trying to get healthy. A couple years goes by. One day, the phone rings. It's the vice president of the Jazz. It's good to hear his voice. He tells me, I'm going to receive one of the greatest honors an athlete can get in professional sports. That from now on, March 1st is going to be officially declared Mark Eaton Day in Utah. And that my jersey number 53 is going to be retired during a ceremony at halftime of a game that evening. In the 19 years of Jazz history, is just the third player to receive that honor. March 1st, 1996, I'm standing at half court of the Delta Center in downtown Salt Lake. My first coach, Tom, on this side. My NBA coach, Frank, on this side. My friends, my family, my teammates. 20,000 cheering fans are giving me a standing ovation. The governor picks up the microphone and explains to the crowd that the Jazz were almost sold to a group of investors from Minnesota in the 80s. And the reason the owner of the team didn't sell was because he believed in me. And the reason we didn't become the Minneapolis Jazz was because he believed in our team. That ceremony was the pinnacle of my success and the end, the very end of my career in basketball. Way up high in the rafters, jersey number 53 unfurls. I received that honor because I honored others. That's why I played at the Jazz for 12 years. That's why I was never traded. That's why I became an all-star. I helped others win. To achieve lasting success, you need to help every person you work with be a success. My jersey was retired, but I wasn't. It was the beginning of other things. At 38, I was forced to reinvent myself. And what I found is the same commitments that took me from an auto mechanic to an all-star enabled me to meet the new challenges and situations that lay ahead. All of us face setbacks or downturns. We need something that we can rely on. Simple truths. Well, you have them now. Know your job. Do what you've been asked to do. Make people look good and protect others. This is a strategy that will enable you to master whatever game you're in.